Now, while myself and uh, Malcolm Bernard from Country Pursuits TV were at the 2013 British Shoot Show, we did meet quite a lot of folk, and I have to say a very big thank you to all the fans who stopped with us and talked with us, shook our hands even, and uh, I think me and Malcolm spent most of the day gabbing like a couple of women than we did uh, looking around what was available. But one of the things we did stop with was the night sight stand. Um, one of the reasons was they had a new lightweight lithium ion battery I was very interested in. And this is it here. The battery comes in a plastic case with the night sight logo on it. And it seems to be a good robust sort of plastic. The power lead's quite short, but then this unit's designed more for stock mounting. And the power socket on the end is one of the new 90 degree ones, something I believe Night Sight are currently looking into fitting to the rest of the sockets. It's quite thin, a good bit smaller and lighter than the original lead acid battery. And it's also fitted with a fuse, so it should be good and safe as well. The unit of course comes with its own mains charger, which also seems to be made to a good high standard. It has a little indicator light, which comes on red when the unit's charging, and turns green when the unit's fully charged. This one's fitted with the UK 3 prong for 240 volt. Also available for the battery is this stock mounted pouch. It's sealed with two big pieces of velcro and it's made of a fairly stretchy material so it should stretch to fit any design or uh, size of buttstock. The pouch itself seems to be a semi-rigid design and it seems to be padded inside. The battery is a nice snug fit inside and of course it seals over again with two pieces of velcro. The pouch is fairly easy and quickly mounted onto the rifle. Again it stretches the fit out over the comb and seals with the velcro. And there's plenty of cable to easily plug into the camera unit. The unit does sit out from the side of the stock slightly, but uh, it's a lot better than a trailing wire. Of course, if you don't fancy uh, fitting the unit on the stock pouch, I found that if you take the uh, extension cord from the original lead acid battery that came with the night sight unit, you can connect the battery to it and to the camera. This should give you plenty of length to fit the uh, battery unit into a pocket or onto a belt pouch. Also available from Night Sight is this little anti-recoil bracket. Now this was originally designed for heavy recoiling rifles like spring-powered air rifles or high-powered centerfire rifles and it also comes with its own little instruction leaflet. To use the bracket you simply slip on the usual little scope mounting bracket, this is a 30mm one, then take the little anti-recoil bracket, slide it over the top of it and push the longer mounting screw that came with it through the oblong hole on the side. Then gently screw the knob on then slide the IR or LCD unit into place in the dovetails, slide the little bracket up and tighten the knob into place. You can see here from this close up, once the little anti-recoil device is slid up and tightened into place, it blocks the dovetails so the IR or LCD unit can't slide out of place. Also available are these little anti-glare filters. They come in a packet of five. 
and they're simply a little piece of black film that sticks onto the LCD unit. Also comes with them as a little card of stickers and a full set of instructions. Now the first thing I did was uh, with an old makeup brush brush all the grit away from the LCD unit then give it a nice wipe with a clean hanky. Now this is where things get a little complicated. As far as I can understand in the instructions you take two of the labels stick them onto opposing sides of the filter one almost on top of the other then peel them apart and this should take the clear film off the back of the filter. I did say should. We'll try that again. Squeeze it down a little firmer so it sticks better. And yes, it's working. Okay, it's a little fiddly, but we're getting there. Now, I have to admit, I did find this next stage quite awkward. And let's say it took me more than one attempt to stick the little filter onto the LCD screen. And the fact that the camera was sitting in my road and I couldn't exactly see what I was doing probably didn't help me a lot. I think if I was doing this again I would take the unit, set it between my knees and stick the filter on it that way. But thankfully with the advice of the instructions I used a piece of card to help push all the air bubbles out of it. And in the end I think we got there. Yeah I know what you're thinking, does it actually work? Well I took the unit out into the garden that night for a little before and after test. Now this is the night sight without the anti-glare filter fitted and at its maximum you can see the light reflecting off my face. Now this is the night sight fitted with the anti-glare filter and even though the camera is only three feet away you can't see any light reflecting off my face. The camera is actually picking up the IR unit more than anything and just in case you think I'm pulling your leg, I switched the light on. Yep, that's me, out of focus as usual. So the little anti-glare filters seem to be doing the job and I hope to use this in the field shortly. Now the battery pack and the little stock mounted pouch for it should be available sometime in April. The little anti-glare filters and the anti-recoil mount are available now. But for any more information, not only on these products, but any of the other Night Sight products, please use the link in the description box below to take you to the Night Sight website.